Steve Robbins here. Welcome to the Get It Done Guys Quick and Dirty Tips to Work Less and Do More. Today's topic is quickly repairing relationships so that you can get on with business. The quick and dirty tip is to take the blame and make amends. I won! I won! Yes, three years ago, I won a raffle! Yay! I'm a winner! I matter! Ah, this was my first raffle win ever. That time in elementary school doesn't count. That prize was getting to do the big kids' math homework for a week. My therapist assures me it wasn't a real raffle, but I'm just not ready to confront the truth. In this raffle, the prize was better. A free 1,000 CD production run from a CD company. Awesome! A ticket to the fast-paced world of information products. Unfortunately, no good product ideas came to mind. But 18 months later, inspiration struck. I called. Oh, they said. That raffle expired after a year. You'll have to pay full price. What? They never said the prize expired, and they still want my business? Mommy said to treat people with respect. Not right now, I replied. Let me think about it. While thinking, I published an article about it in my newsletter. I knew they read my newsletter. This would let him know how upset I was. That was a year ago. Yesterday, he emailed, asking if I needed CDs made. This time, I was clear. You promised? You reneged. We won't be doing business, ever. His response? I'm sorry you feel that way. Give me a call if you change your mind. The tagline of his business? Quote, We create relationships. Unquote. His tagline is wrong. Relationships take two to play. We all want relationships with customers, with suppliers, with girlfriends, boyfriends, transgender friends, and poly friends. A good relationship requires that we all be happy. And we all do sometimes. And we all do stuff sometimes that screws stuff up, like we accidentally mail a checkout late. Or we misplace an incoming delivery, forget where we put it, and then tell the supplier we never received it or we squeeze the toothpaste from the middle. First, understand that if they're upset, your opinion doesn't matter. If your customers think you screwed them, they won't do business with you. If your snookums is mad about that little licorice and feathers practical joke, then he won't snuggle with you. It doesn't even matter if you did what they think you did. Maybe it was the neighbor who did the thing with the feathers. What you need to realize is, it doesn't matter. Take the blame. When someone's upset with you and you want to repair the relationship, take the blame. Take all of it. Don't be like stupid salesboy and say, gee, I'm sorry you're mad at me. Would that work if someone said it to you? He can't just say, I was wrong. And so I can't just say, let me place an order for $1,000. But what if it really isn't my fault? So take the blame anyway. But that would be lying. Right. Like you haven't lied before and said you were innocent when you were really guilty. Remember the who put library paste and glitter all over Fluffy incident? You said, not me. Fluffy must have rolled in it by accident. That wasn't exactly honest, was it? Your mom wasn't fooled. After all, Fluffy was a goldfish. Now, lie the other way. Say, it was my fault. I screwed up. It was my fault pacifies customers. It delights suppliers, and you won't believe what it can do for a relationship. Bada-bing, bada-bing. But don't stop there. Next, drive it home by adding the clincher. What can I do to make it right? Make amends. Surprisingly often, people will accept the apology as being enough. Other times, they may ask you to make it up to them. Remember, your goal here is to make the relationship work for both of you, so you can still say no to their request. Imagine stupid sales boy had asked about amends, and I said, honor the original prize. He doesn't have to say yes. He could come back with, our costs have gone up, and we can't afford to give you a thousand disc run for free. What if we give it to you at our production cost? I might say yes, and then we're good to go. You can also decide for yourself what amends to offer. You can offer to shampoo Fluffy, to expedite your customer's late order, or to give your snookums a back rub and bubble bath. Heck, you can even offer to shampoo your customer, expedite your snookums, and give Fluffy a back rub and bubble bath. The possibilities are endless. Just remember, when someone thinks you've screwed up, you can fight it and cause everyone pain, or you can take the blame. If you want life to be easy, Take the blame, make amends, and get on with it. Life is too short to get bogged down in library paste. This is Steve Robbins. Work less, do more, and have a great life.